Greetings, everyone. My name is Saket Amin Ray, and I've come to you this evening to talk a bit about my current business, which is Certified Kinetic Reiki Master. I have been working in the Reiki field for, let's see, since about 2014. And um, I've gotten my certification in a few different types of Reiki. But um, the method that I choose is to use the Kemetic style Reiki. Um, what they called Reiki now was actually started in ancient Kemet, um, a.k.a. Egypt. And the pharaohs and the um, upper echelon of the um, culture practiced energy healing. Energy healing has been around for hundreds of thousands of years. So in the beginning, there were a lot more tools used to perform healing ceremonies, um, crystals, and other amulets and talismans were used to harness, transmute, and transfer of a sort of re-entry that, that positive energy back into the client. Um, so yes, Reiki actually started in ancient Kemet. I know that um, it's the consciousness craze to um, follow the um, Japanese version, um, which they did pick up the technique and expand on it, but it was not originated in Japan, which is fine because it actually also spread it into India, then Japan, China, Tibet, and those other countries. Um, as being pretty fairly new in the Western world, those of us that have um, tapped into a higher consciousness and actually um, identify this energy form that we call Reiki, have um, learned how to use it and control it. This is something that all human beings can learn how to do. So getting back to my original intention, which was to um, introduce myself and um, my new business venture, which I actually decided to um, partner in a Reiki and Holistic Healing Center, and we are the Royal Queens. It is myself and my business partner. Um, she is a certified medical Reiki master, and I am a certified comedic Reiki master, among other um, certifications of Reiki. I also have the um, Yasui Reiki certification as a master with Infinite Healer, um, which I want to commend and shout out because I have learned a tremendous amount of information through that modality as well. Um, what I have done is like pretty much taken other techniques and circled them back around and used them through the Kemet system of Reiki because it is more about um, transmuting your current energy into healing energy and we have various tools um, that we can use one such would be the ankh um, I would say the copper ankh actually helps to um, get the Reiki session going and does a lot of the um, balancing as you wand it over the body 
um, you are clearing negative energy so that you can begin to use the crystals to transmute that particular energy back to its respective chakra. And so that what that is what makes comedic Reiki um, so unique in its original form. And so many of us are trying to tap in to that energy by way of um, yoga practices um, and other art forms. Yoga being the most prevalent because it actually opens up your energy um, circulation in your body. And the yoga technique has been used for centuries to uh, heal and to balance energy centers. So that's what this main, this is really about this segment is how we use crystals to, um, I would say, accompany our Reiki sessions. Now, once we clear the negative energy away, um, the client has already told us where they may be having some medical issues, any different pains in their body, inflammation and different things like that. And so um, through various tools and techniques, which there are many ways to identify where the energy imbalance is in the body. Um, some use pendulum, which I really like that method because you can pinpoint it and you don't have to um, second guess. Um, the pendulum method and then we have the um, the selenite method in which you would take a selenite wand and clear the um, energy passages of the client and just you know get them all the negative energy off and then you go back and do the full body um, session and you have um, the crystals and what you do is all of the chakra colors which there are seven starting from the crown all the way to the root and you would gather the respective crystals that coordinates with that chakra and so that adds an abundant um, positive blessing to the effectiveness of the Reiki session and so I strongly encourage those that participate in um, Reiki sessions to ask for the Crystal Reiki session, especially if you have um, deep um, illnesses or have been dealing with illness for a very long time. Mind you, um, this doesn't happen completely in one session. You have to, con like, just like you would take medication on a regimen, you would have to participate in the Reiki sessions on a regimen. And so you can get your body and your health to a certain um, stamina. And you will see the results for within each Reiki session. Um, so yes, the crystals are very important, I feel, and most effective metaphysically and scientifically and practically because... Um, we know that crystals work with vibrations. And so we know that when we're working with energy channeling, crystals are a tremendous help to the Reiki master who is um, attuning their client. Crystals also aid in distant Reiki attunements because not always does the client have to be in person. It's always great to have that full body Reiki session in person. But there's some of us that need some of this healing energy right away. And energy, you know, it has no bounds. It is totally free. It travels to where we send it. You know, we have the ability to put out bad vibes or negative vibes. And we have the ability to put out positive vibes and so this the reiki master 
has mastered the transference of this Reiki energy and can channel it to their client no matter where they are, you know, on the earth. And so this is another wonderful aspect of a Reiki. And so with all the trials, tribulations, and stresses of the world today and um, the fast track of the medical profession putting us on medications that actually cover and mask our illness and they do not heal. And so we want to, I want to encourage all of us out there to get in tune with our energy um, centers. It is very, very important to be in tune with your chakras. The earth has seven chakras also, just like we do. The crystals come from inter-earth. And so um, you could put that association together with little effort to see how effective and important of a tool it is for us to use as mankind. We know that the pyramids always had um, in their cap, they had um, um, quartz crystal and they utilize quartz in abundance and it has the power to um, amplify any energy and so they had actual healing chambers some of those pyramid um, inside some of the chambers of the pyramids were actual healing chambers where they had copper piping and tubing um, built in there so that they could make the sound they could use the sound along with the crystal energy from the sun it hits the top of the pyramid of course energy radiates through it and when you're in the healing chambers that along with the sound oh my goodness I could just imagine the force and the power of healing in our ancient days it is just so magnificent to the point where we are now awakened to um, become educated and practiced practitioners and so Reiki has been proven to be effective on pets through their illnesses, um, terminal ill patients, um, those that are dealing with um, mental um, illness such as depression, ADHD, um, and energy can also be used on the younger people so that they can begin to know how it feels to be in tune. And so this will be, once you're in tune, this is a practice that you're going to want to repeat. No one's going to have to, you know, pretty much push you because this is a feeling that you want to have that, you know, that it lasts for a very long time and forever. And so not only do we offer... Um, full body Reiki sessions. We offer sound bath meditations, crystal healing therapy. Um, and I want to talk a second about our sound um, therapy sessions, which are totally and totally effective because we use our Tibetan singing bowls that we can actually put on to the patient and get the vibration going through the body and this triggers and helps to rearrange your DNA in alignment because all of the um, musical notes are aligned automatically. They don't need any fine tuning. It is us, us with instruments that can get you know, the tone in a fine tune. We know that the original tone of the primordial earth is um, the ohm sound. Excuse me, I'm a little nervous on camera. But anyways, our ohm sound is the original sound um, of creation. So creation and um, vibration go hand in hand. And so, of course, it is highly effective, one of the most highly effective forms of energy healing um, when you use the ancient 
techniques. Um, mind you, any Reiki technique can incorporate crystals. We can incorporate essential oils, aromatherapy coupled with the crystals and the Reiki session is a total um, healing experience. And so at Royal Queens Reiki and Holistic Healing Center, we invite you, we're located in Baltimore, Maryland, um, Seven Center Place. Um, and we do our sessions by appointment only. So you would do best to contact us at Royal Queens Reiki at gmail.com. You can look us up on Facebook, Royal Queens Reiki and Holistic Healing Center. Um, and you can also, I think I gave the email address, Royal Queens Reiki at gmail.com. And so you can reach us in those different modalities. But I encourage you to book an appointment get started this is something you may even want to become certified at so that you can help to heal others and if you are interested in becoming a reiki master contact sir cat Armin ray at royal queens reiki at gmail.com and i will be glad to talk to you about our level one two and master level certifications and until we see you in the reiki healing center i just want to say reiki is the healing of a nation you must try it and be open um, and i guarantee you you won't regret it so peace love and light namaste and shem hotep to you all until we meet again. This is Sir Kat Amin Ray from the Royal Queen's Reiki Holistic and Healing Center. Bidding you all many blessings. Peace.